hundreds of millions of people live in informal settlements worldwide. Because buildings in these areas are so closely crowded together, natural light often has no way of entering. For many people, paying expensive electricity bills simply isn't an option. And these households often resort to kerosene candles or improvised wiring for light, risking health and safety. We wondered if there was a better way to bring light to these places when there was none. My name is Ilak Diaz. I am the executive director of My Shelter Foundation. This is based in the Philippines and it does everything how to reinvent green architecture and design and bring it to the grassroots. We had one of the worst storms in history in the Philippines and 80% of my city went underwater. In six hours, we had a month of monsoon rain. We found out from the World Bank that 2,700 classrooms were destroyed. We were really looking for something people could do now. It wasn't a matter of just waiting for aid. The thing that was clogging up the drainage at that time was plastic bags and plastic bottles. And so what we did really was use the adobe system of Nadhir Kalili, liquefy it, put it in bottles, and then stack it up. For infrastructure, we would fill it with soil. But for the windows, since we could not afford flat glass, we would put bottles of water and then stack it up together. In the morning, we would see the sunrise and it would just let light through the bottles. And so this was the start of really using it as a window. And then later on, we started testing it on the roofs. We talked to other students at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And then we came across Alfredo Mosser's work, which he also put a plastic bottle on the roof. The light goes through the bottle and then through the water. And by bending light, you don't have to have a large aperture. But at the same time, you get a magnificent amount of light coming in and bending and hitting the walls. It, on an average, reduces 40% of your electricity bills. Once you light up a house, that house will never go back into darkness again. The people that are building our solar bulbs are people in the dump sites. So instead of just gathering and selling the scraps, they put aside plastic bottles, they build the solar bottles, and then they sell it for installations. For big orders, we actually do it in jail cells. With the same amount of profit, we ask them to build the solar bulbs. People that are marginalized are actually the people that are our main factories in making this possible. Our biggest partner is Colombia and they've spread it to Peru, to Argentina, Mexico, Kenya, Mumbai, Jakarta, Vietnam. When they suddenly see that they can do something and they want to do something and it's all in a simple design that can be done not by large trucks and large money but by human hands and a pair of snips, then it changes the whole way that we can attack problems of the future. The purest form of charity is to make yourself obsolete and that is the vein of this movement. Okay, na po, okay, na po.